right, let's see what's the happening crazy. for today. Let's check it out. We got some uh, tamper torques, some torques. Ooh, yeah. look at these wobble torques. Wobble tamper torques, that's pretty good. Digging those. Uh, full hey, set back up, there. Right? Adapters, a long reach. I think it's part of a kit. Uh, uh, some slippery sockets are pretty nice. Oh, I'm gonna fill the kit. These extensions got some corner ones left on sale for uh, promo. Two. Look at this That's stuff. Look at this there. sweet ass fucking the kit. Battery out for Bob. I bought the autoblast. I'm digging that. That's uh, freaking slick. I might have to. I don't know. Uh, I've been looking at this for two weeks. God damn it. I just like the tin. I just like the fucking tin. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on here. Got some half inchy sets, big dog Allens, precision instruments. That's a snap on torque wrench, right? Precision uh, instruments. Yeah. The precision instruments guys told me that they are snap on's oldest vendor. Right, the ones who probably originally started making their stuff. What's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Tool Hall Tuesday in effect. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week so far. All right, kicking off our Tool Hall Tuesday with Matco Monday pickup is the DT60 Digital Tire Inflator. Now I know it's rebranded Astro. Uh, Astro Tools makes this. You can look it up on Amazon. I'll try to put a link down in the description. Digital tire inflator, it's pretty awesome. It's got a nice backlight. I have the first gen that uh, Matco rebranded, uh, which is actually red, and it's lasted me probably the betterment of about five years. I think I've changed the battery out twice in that five year time frame. I was really digging this orange, not gonna lie. I think that was the, one of the bigger reasons why I picked it up. I was really digging this orange. I was thinking immediately of my KTM motorcycle and the reason why I've been keeping my digital tire pressure gauge here at the house is because we get cold, we get hot, we get cold, we get hot. So my tire pressure is like all over the place in the motorcycle. So I want one for the house so I decided, you know what, I'm going to bring my first gen Matco Air Chuck to work and I'm going to leave this one here at the house. What I also like about this one. Um, comparing against the Matco one. Let me grab it real quick. All right, so what I also like about this one specifically is that it has a way different design handle and it came stock with the braided line, the steel braided line. Now the first one that I picked up, and you'll see it here in a second, I had to buy the aftermarket braided line after the rubber hose gave out. And what happens is you get hanging on stuff like this, or it gets drug around or you're flipping things around or whatever and the rubber just starts to split next thing you know air comes out that rubber line didn't last any longer than maybe 12 months before I was changing it out for a braided line so I'll see if I can't find a link to the braided line and or both the tool made by Astro and the braided line for you guys and put it down in the description but look I'm taking my old school one to work so that way it can continue to get used and abused and greased up. And I'm going to leave my brand new orange one here at the house for topping off the air in my KTM and in our vehicles. So that was my pickup on Monday. So Tool Haw Tuesday, what did I pick up from the gear wrench rep guys? So a couple things actually which you guys might have seen in the picture. One of them were these uh, pliers made by Steelman. Two piece extra long locking plier set. Uh, part number 99591. You guys probably can't see that. 99591. Anyway, let me get these rubber bands off here. I just was like, dude, there are so many different things I could see these being used for between pinching stuff off that's in a tight area to grabbing and turning something to grabbing and bending something. But look, we got these super long reach guys, right? We got one that's a 90 degree head and one that's got a 45 degree head. I picked these up for 40 bucks. I was like, 20 bucks a piece? All day, baby, all day. These things look like they're the fucking bees fucking knees, man. So I had to pick them up, man. I was like, dude, I'm gonna need those for so many different things, I just know it. Let me grab them now while I'm still thinking about it. Cause you know, like the set that I got from, what was it, I think it was Irwin a while back. They don't even make one particular style anymore. It's so funny, they'll, they'll make these locking pliers in different styles and then they just stop making them. You're like, man, that was a really useful locking plier set 
Why didn't they just keep making them and those were freaking great? And then they make little changes and things they think would be the betterment of the tool and Anyway, I'm actually kind of glad that I have the locking pliers I have. I always save them up, you know, you stack them up and you hope to God they don't break and and you can just keep using them for years. So I'm going to give these Steelmans a try. I think they're way, way useful. They just look neat as fuck, you know what I'm saying? All right, the last thing that I picked up was actually from Monster Dude. I think the graphic in the box got me the most. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm a sucker for certain things. And I'm definitely a sucker for this monster swag, dude. Here's the part number here. I know a lot of you guys don't have access to this monster stuff. You can't just buy it online. You gotta buy it from an independent tool distributor who's able to go in and out of tool uh, expos and things like that. Monster sells to independent as well as like you know Mac or snap on whoever's willing to carry their product they're gonna sell their product to uh, but yeah the monsters you can only get them from the tool expo somebody that's able to go into those shows but this is a one two three four five six piece magnetic universal spark plug socket set it's got a nice knurl on the handle the inside of the extension looks pretty nice most of these are going to be in the 5 8 realm. So we got this is in 5 8 We got the super long reach one, which is also in 5 8 We got the short stubby one. So this one actually does come in handy, especially on the Hemis. So I'm thinking, hell yeah. Another feature that I like is it has this little tiny rubber sleeve on here. So as you're working it out or whatever, it's not scratching and marring or scarring the inside of that spark plug tube. So I thought that was actually kind of a nice little upselling feature as well. They also give you the 5.8 spark plug socket itself that's also a magnet on the inside. So that'll be nice to kind of grab and pull those things out with. Another reason why I like these to begin with. So yes, you've heard me talk about locking extensions, how locking extensions can save your ass, especially when the spark plug socket gets buried down the hole and you can't get it out because your regular extension keeps popping off. You got to reach down there with a hook and a pick and hope to God you can pull it and release it and then grab it with a little magnet and pull it off. You're fighting it for a good 10, 20 minutes depending on where it got stuck. But uh, I've been able to bend and tweak a pick to my liking for that situation. But these have the extension built onto it with this pin style universal. So. That's another reason why I picked them up. One, magnetic. Two, built onto the extension itself. Nice little extension. Three, non-marring, rubberized sleeve that's over it. And then four would probably be the neural that it has on it. All right, so then they give you one 13 16 universal. So you guys are like, how often do you run into that? Actually, I'm taking, I just got done taking the heads off of a Chrysler Town & Country with a 3.3 liter and I just took the heads off, and those, believe it or not, Chrysler loves their 13, 16s, I'm telling you, so I ended up having to remove them. Luckily, I had that socket there at work. And they give you one 916 socket, also a magnetic, and if I remember correctly, I believe Subaru. I believe it's Subaru that's the 916th, so that socket will come in handy as well. Love the case, love this metal case. Okay, so now you guys are going to get a chance to actually go onto the tool truck with me where I'm going to do a brief walk around. I'll kind of show you some of the tools they have on the shelf on the gear wrench truck. Maybe you see something a little bit different that you didn't see the week before. And if it's possible, I'll try to leave it like unedited. If it's not possible, then you'll probably hear some corny music. And then if you want to see the unrated version, you can go to my Facebook page and or Instagram where I will post the video clip. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces. Yeah, there's those magnetic sockets. Those things are freaking lifesavers. Mm -hmm. Some long reach ratchet wrenches, the flex hand. This is a freaking badass. This every uh, so snap on Maco Cornwell and everybody, but it's made by Astro. So just so you guys know, here's these tie rod tools. Check out these tie rod tools from my alignment guys out there. Look at that. Isn't that freaking cool? I was gonna say yeah. It's freaking cool. Here's a master fuel pressure test gauge set. I didn't actually get a chance to do a full review on this, but this thing's freaking sick.
those aren't USA. And then of course the Lang leak down tester. I got one of those. Those things are freaking badass. What else we got going on here? Some Ingersoll Ram, this air hammer set. Is it that time? Magnets. Holy shit. Got some freaking screwdrivers. Look at these though. Look at these. These things are fucking cool, man. Yes, sir. Is this a two piece set or what's the deal? Oh, because one's a 45 and one's a 90. Yeah. Two piece set, Steelman Pro. Like nice. the ones that make the chassis here. Oh yeah, the chassis. I was eyeballing those too. There's for punches and chisels. There's a hood prop. Those hood props are freaking awesome. By Liesel or Lyle or whatever. Lyle. <laughs> oh shit. Liesel, you sound like Liesel. Fucking Liesel, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Vice grips for days. Look, so this is like the best oil filter wrench, band style wrench that you can get. I've got a two piece set, but they go up to bigger sizes. Look, it's got fucking built in like welded grippies on the inside. They just fucking sweet, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Some organizers, which you guys might have seen the other week. Multimeters, some jump boxes. Look at those fucking things. Those things are huge. All right, so I'll give you guys a part number. Somebody was asking us this 5 16 quarter inch deal here. This one is actually not a Maco brand, but it is made by Easy Red. And these things are freaking badass to have. I've had one in the past, locking flex head. Those are great to have. Uh, I've got those putty knives. Those things are awesome. Some upholstery tools, screwdrivers, precision screwdrivers. You guys have seen most of this before, I'm sure, but this is all the good stuff, man. Look, Lang, this is for the measuring gap on spark plugs. Pliers, 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 Knipix, channel lock, tool aid. I've got those best wire strippers in my opinion. Milwaukee, you guys know about the NOCO. You guys saw the battery jump pack I picked up. Milwaukee stuff for days. Monster carts are fucking badass. I have one that had, what, seven drawers, I think it was? Yeah, all the way down. Those things were fucking cool. Um, not Mayhew, huh? What's this Dominator by? They are Mayhews. Oh, are they? Okay. Oh, no, I see now. Yeah. Big dog stuff. Then the Sun X Toolbox, which I thought was pretty cool, too. But we ended up going with the Harbor Freight Special. Uh, one more coolant pressure tester. Got to have one of those. Serpentine belt tool. That's nice. I got the gear wrench one myself. Uh, that's it. Jeff, thanks for letting us hang out.